Okay, so just a quick video in regards to the installation of a Go Drive unit on an Amiga 600 from Digital Retro Bay. Uh, what you would have received is the Go Drive display, Go Drive main board, a Y power splitter, and a ribbon cable. Okay, so let's get things on the road. So first things first, what we need to do is take the lid off the Amiga 600. Now this is nice and easy to do. Three screws along the bottom, two on the sides, and the rest is just clips. Uh, for the clips, you, what you can do is put your fingernails underneath the case, lift it towards you, then it pulls up nicely. When you're taking off the cover, you'll have two connectors. So, you'll have the connector for the LEDs, which just needs some plugging from here, and the ribbon cable for the keyboard, which just needs some plugging from the uh, ZIF connector down here. Now the white connector on the main board for the keyboard, uh, what you can do is on each side of that connector, you just pull them up gently, then it'll release the uh, ribbon cable. Okay, so for the actual go drive unit, uh, to remove the floppy drive, one screw here, two screws on the back, that'll allow you to lift the unit up. So what we need to do is unplug the floppy drive from the 600 main board and unplug the power as well from it. So your floppy drive is now detached. So on here, first things first, we'll just remove the power cable. Don't need that anymore. Replace that with the Y cable, like so. For the Go Drive main board, we just need to attach the display. So I'll just get that ribbon cable and the ribbon cable. You just pull out these two tabs here, then the connector will move towards you. Then you put the cable in, blue side facing up, like so. And once it's pushed in, just push those connectors, well, the sides down, it'll lock into place. So now we just need to install the uh, Go Drive board onto the 600. So to do that, it just fits over the uh, floppy drive connector. Like so. Now, obviously, depending on if your 600 has been recapped, um, you may need to trim this one down a bit. Um, but yeah, you can just adjust the standoffs just to get it in the right position for your Amiga. Okay, so that's that all installed. So, okay, so connecting power to the Go Drive unit. What we need to do is connect it to floppy disk drive power, which is just labeled on there. It's called FDD power. So we'll plug into here, like so. And then for this end, that plugs into the floppy drive, which plugs into there. So for the ribbon cable that was connected to the Amiga's main board, that now just connects into the side of the Go Drive unit, like so. So that's the installation complete uh, for the actual Go Drive unit. So what it is from here, obviously the power cable gets replaced with a Y splitter. One end into the main board, one end into the floppy drive, one end into the Go Drive unit. Then the ribbon cable that was connected to the Amiga 600 main board is now connected to the side of the Go Drive unit. Then from here, you can reinstall your floppy drive. Then from there, you can just put the screws back in. Obviously, I'm not going to put the screws in for this because I'm just showing you how it all puts, uh, goes together. Um, as for the ribbon cable, the ribbon cable just feeds through, I would say, approximately a middle vent on the 600. Like so. Then from here, the Go Drive display, there's a, a little bracket here. So what you can do on this, just put your finger in there, pull it down, pull it towards you, and then it'll come out. So we'll put that on there. Then for the Go Drive display, again, just pop these two sides up. Blue, cap, uh, blue ribbon goes in top. Pushes in, just like that. 
and click the sides up. Then the bracket just gets pushed back on and clicks down. And for the extra ribbon, just feed that in. Okay, now let's give it a test, see if it all works. Okay, so I've got a disc on the floppy drive, so I'll just change this to floppy drive. Can hear the floppy drive whirring away there. See what's going on there. That's great. Now for the fun part. USB stick into the side of the Core Drive unit. Change it to Core Tech. Select your disk image. Let's go with Amiga Test Kit. And as you can see, Amiga Test Kit is now on the screen. And also you can flick back to floppy and flick back to go take one if you need. Okay, now for the last part, reassembly. So turn the Amiga off. Lift the lid again. Screw your floppy drive back in. It's three screws, one at the bottom, two at the top. Make sure it sits all nice in, you've got your cables nicely arranged. Uh, connect the ribbon for your keyboard that just pushes into the white slot again if you lift it up push the cable in push the uh, connector back down again and lock the cable in and also your floppy leds which plug into the bottom there okay so that's all there is to it uh, and obviously for the case two screws on the side three along the bottom then it's done